course was basically ready, the rough was growing, and we were struggling a little bit with the heat and the drought, but uh, we're, uh, the golf course is ready, the, the, the ropes are up, and so uh, it, we're, we had our first run this morning with all of our staff and our volunteers to prepare the golf course, and so everybody was kind of learning and you know tripping over each other a little bit, but <clears throat> by tomorrow and by Wednesday we'll be really good at it, and away we go, so it's good. So our volunteers are, are not just people that volunteer, they're all skilled golf course workers from other courses, they're assistant superintendents and lead hands, so they're here for the experience and I think it's great that they can, I try to get them involved with the, as much of it as they can so they just have, can experience everything and see what's really involved in setting up a tournament. And uh, it's more, I'd like to see them get all the experience and I try to stay in the, under the radar in the background. Uh, everything's pretty special here. Uh, we focus on local sustainable product here at the Hamilton Golf and Country Club, uh, especially for the RBC Canadian Open. Uh, the players are looking for more nutritious, uh, fresh products. So in the mornings we do a juice bar for them, which contains uh, goji berries, wheatgrass, yogurts and fresh fruit. And then for lunch we're doing a little bit more premium items. Uh, we do bacon wrap tenderloin, uh, rack of lamb, which is all Ontario meat, uh, truffled celery roots, halibut with lobster bisque and uh, tons of tons of salads so to keep the, the vegetables in the players. What we did was we referred back to previous years that they've hosted the Canadian Open here, um, the 03-06. Um, we also looked at Shaughnessy's uh, records to see what they brought in and based on previous uh, records and numbers we came up with what we were going to bring in here to the club. Hats are probably our number one. Um, we also are big on the um, flags, uh, t-shirts, lanyards. Uh, we brought in a whole bunch of um, suppliers. Uh, there's probably about 13 apparel and about five different um, in the accessories. We have a, a ton of players out on tour, you know, contracted players that are, you know, here this week. We'll see, uh, you know, Jason Day, we'll see Sean O'Hare, who's defending champion this week. We'll see a lot of the local Canadian players that are talented players, like David Hearn. Um, you'll see Brian McCann, who's the number one club pro in Canada, is in the field. And uh, Michael Gligick is one of our young guys on the Canadian tour. He's just won and uh, been given a, a special exemption to play in the Open this week. So this is, uh, this is normally where, uh, our, our, our tour ups and, and, and builders will, will work out of. Uh, Wade Lyles is, uh, is our, our main metalwood guy, but what we'll have here is you know, a drawer full of all of our different heads. We have rocket balls, R11s, you know, all the different, all the different heads, all the different lofts, all ready to go. And what we'll do is um, really be able to service players a little faster than you might want to see at, uh, at your regular pro shop. We can actually build a driver in about five minutes. Wade here is, you know, taking care of a, a player's putter. You're going to take the grip off, take the grip tape and get it all prepped. He's going to cut it down one inch and that's going to get him into the right length for what he's looking to get. You know, we use uh, two-sided tape put on all our grips. These guys probably change given week hundreds of hundreds of grips and that allows us to find the right length. they will mark it here. It's the USGA spec ruler. A little grinding wheel here. Let's cut that off. Take two seconds. Take off all the edge, make sure it's nice and smooth. He's ready to go. New grip will go on that and in the bag.